When his home island is invaded by a pack of wild pigs, an explosive bird and his friends team up to save the eggs that have been stolen by the enemy army. Today we're going to recap the story of the movie, The Angry Birds Movie, from 2016. On an isolated island, Red runs frantically while holding an egg, he runs into a tree trunk, but doesn't realize that there's a cliff on the other side. In this way, the animal plummets and manages to hold onto a vine. The bird can't fly and bumps into all the trees in front of it, encountering a snake along the way. Just as he is about to retrieve his egg, the branch on which Red is standing breaks, causing him to fall and hit all the other parts of the tree that are on their way to the ground. The bird is then bounced upwards and manages to hold onto the egg, falling into a river. When he gets out of the water, Red arrives at a house, from which a child comes out. He wishes her a happy birthday, but the little girl starts crying. When he opens the egg-shaped present, the red bird is confronted with a cake destroyed by a squirrel that has fallen inside. The child's father is annoyed as Red makes up various excuses for being late for the party, so he demands that he pay for the damage caused. Faced with the situation, the red bird gets upset and throws the cake directly in his face, so he ends up being kicked out of the house. However, before he leaves, he steps on the squirrel, which causes him to slip and almost fall on the egg in the nest, but the family tries to hold him up. However, Red falls on the egg and the shell breaks, revealing the couple's next baby, a boy. After all the confusion, the red bird is on his way home when he gets angry at the birds in a queue and a mime who is chasing him. In his childhood, Red was bullied by the other pupils who made fun of his thick eyebrows. As a result, he became an impatient adult years later. When he arrives home, he is surprised when a small bird throws a ball in his direction and Red kicks the bird away. Later, the red bird is put on trial for his explosive attacks. During the hearing, the judge ends up insulting Red, who unmasks the Honorable, who is actually not so tall because he is hiding on top of another bird that was under his clothes. Even so, the authorities sentence him to attend a anger control course. Red leaves the trial furious and gets even more stressed on the way, as he is forced to wait for several animals to cross the crosswalk. Outside the Infinite Acceptance Center, the red bird comes across a bird made of tree branches, which moves by itself and makes sounds. A few seconds later, he gets annoyed with the structure and jumps on top of it, rolling across the floor with the inanimate object. Even so, the toy still makes a noise, so he throws it away and delivers a powerful blow. Inside the establishment, Red meets Professor Matilda, who introduces him to the rest of the group, but he doesn't want to stay there and is forced to sit and listen to the story of the other members. Among them is Chuck, a yellow bird who went to rehab because of a speeding ticket. In fact, the educator reveals that he ran away from the police while being checked. The yellow bird destroyed everything in the police station, stole the policeman's wallet and even spent all his money in a bar. Terence is a giant and grimaces when Matilda is about to tell him her story, prompting her to reveal that the big man only caused an accident and that's why he's in rehab. There's also an explosive bird called Bomb, which explodes like dynamite when it gets angry at something. During a yoga session, he gets stressed and his body inflates, so the bird explodes, hitting everyone in the room. Afterwards, Chuck invites Red to go to the museum, but he says he doesn't feel like going out with them. On the way home, the Red Bird comes across a group of friends having fun together and a family reacting to the first peck of the baby inside the egg. At that moment, he feels sad because he realizes that he is very lonely. The next day, each student writes a poem to express their feelings. Chuck's text is about the wooden bird that Red destroyed in order to accuse him of the offense. Suddenly, Terence punches him, causing him to be thrown into the wall. The group is hurt by the red bird and forbids it to take part in the toy's farewell. Even so, when something happens outside, they run over the object, destroying it even more. Chuck runs frantically to catch up with the crowd, which earns him a ticket from the traffic warden. When they reach the beach, all the birds come across a giant ship. The ship approaches faster and faster and Red realizes that it is heading towards his house. The bird then runs to prevent his home from being destroyed, but the ship stops on top of the house without hitting it. However, a rock that was on the boat's winch escapes and ends up destroying part of Red's house. A green pig called Leonard comes out of the ship and reveals that he has come from Pig Island to meet other animals. Upon hearing this, everyone is surprised because they don't believe that there is any other place in the world than Bird Island. One of the visitors says hello to all the birds on the beach, but when he gets to Terence, he makes an ugly face to make him give up the hug. During a reception party for the animals, Leonard presents one of his community's creations in order to blow up the stage, which causes quite a stir in the audience. Soon after, the pig presents a giant slingshot, which was built to transport things from one place to another. 
They use a fruit tray stolen from the waiters at the party to demonstrate how to use the equipment and hit several birds with the shots, including Chuck. While everyone is having fun, Red believes that the visitors are just causing a fuss. Leonard then chooses the red bird to help him in the next performance, then puts it in the slingshot to throw it onto the beach. During the landing, Red loses control and hits his head on a rock. When Red stops in front of the pig ship, Chuck comes up with the idea of breaking in and they both board the vessel. Inside the boat, Bomb also appears, and comes across a room full of trampolines and another with various weird racing cars. There's also a room with bizarre costumes hidden inside. The black bird plays on a trampoline, jumping up and down, and ends up destroying the floor. He then falls into a room full of little pigs that have been hiding all this time. Immediately, Red returns to the party to tell his community that the visitors have lied, because he has found thousands of little pigs hidden on the ship and various battle devices. Leonard tries to explain himself by saying that the other animals have come to put on a surprise show, which is why they haven't left the ship yet. Believing the pig's words, the judge comes to the conclusion that the red bird should go back to the rehabilitation center. The new visitors have fun, devouring all the food before Red can eat at the party and even invading his house to enjoy his possessions, which makes the bird angry. Leonard discovers that bird babies are born through eggs, which is not the case in his community. In this way, he begins to envision his life as if he had an egg and the red bird catches his eye because the pig is playing with someone's child. At this point, Red begins to question the visitors and wonders if they are really just passing through the island, as more and more ships are arriving. During the interrogation, he accuses Leonard of telling lies. In order to confirm his suspicions, the red bird invites Chuck and Bomb to investigate the pigs. Together, they decide to ask for help from the mighty eagle, a very strong bird that can destroy rocks and crush coconuts using its own arms. There is no evidence to prove that the hero is still alive, but the group of friends decide to go up to the mountain to look for him. Along the way, they pass over bridges made of tree trunks and storms, as well as a gorge with stacked rocks about to knock them down. On reaching the top of the giant rock, the group discovered that they had climbed the wrong mountain, as the correct hill was just next to it. After a while, they return and climb another rock, where they come across the Lake of Wisdom, which has magical waters from which they can drink. At that moment, the red bird realizes that no one has been there for a long time. Even so, his friends swim in the Enchanted River, which leaves Red worried about what might happen because of their lack of respect. Then they hear a very loud roar, and a giant eagle comes out of a cave at the top of the mountain. When the animal starts to relieve himself on the lake, all the bird's enchantment ends. The giant bird invites the trio to visit the Gallery of Heroism, a cave full of stolen objects that he uses as a home. At the same time, the pigs take over the island and invite everyone to a party they are organizing. Red thought that the hero would help them, but the giant eagle uses his binoculars to spy on other female birds. At that moment, Red realizes that the visitors are scattering explosives all over the island. Even so, the eagle says he's retired, which disappoints his fans because he's the only one capable of flying and he's afraid to do it. Frustrated, the three friends race down the mountain at high speed. Along the way, they come across some pigs stealing all the eggs from the nests. Then several explosions occur as the enemies ransack the houses. Chuck then uses his super speed ability to dodge the debris, so he quickly arrives at the party and tries to warn the others that their community is under attack. Meanwhile, Bomb and Red jump on the trampoline to reach the net full of eggs that the evil animals have stolen. The black bird climbs up to the chain in order to blow it up. However, just as its wick is about to ignite, the enemies throw water at it, causing them both to fall into the sea. The boat sets sail from the beach and heads for Pig Island. At that moment, the opponents blow up the eagle statue, which shoots debris at everyone around the place. The next day, the birds observe the destruction caused by the visitors and the judge asks Red what they should do. At this point, the villagers elect the Red Bird as the leader of the community. Immediately, the new boss begins a motivational speech, in which he says that they must build a boat capable of reaching the enemy's island. That same day, everyone starts looking for floating objects to build the ship, and they place the giant statue in the middle of it. The birds tie several boxes of explosives to the structure to build a makeshift boat, capable of exploding at any moment. On Pig Island, Leonard, the king known as Mudbeard, is greeted by a huge audience as he walks towards his throne. Soon after, he presents a pile of eggs and proclaims a feast for two days straight. What's more, Leonard tells his people that he was the only descendant of his family who managed to find the food. At the same time, the birds begin to arrive in enemy territory, where they come across a deserted beach filled only with debris. A little further into the island, they come across a large town. Just then, Red tells them that they should find Leonard, as he is guarding the eggs. 
So the Red Bird decides to use the giant slingshot to throw his friends up to the castle. The first volunteer is Matilda, who is launched at high speed and, when she gets close to the city, sets her ass on fire in order to blow up countless pigs. Next, the toucan flies like a boomerang and hits one of the opponents, then its shape allows it to make its way back. In this way, he almost hits Bomb, but is interrupted by a tree. Now it's the turn of a chubby bird who sits on a slingshot and throws slime at everyone. When he arrives in town, he hits a few houses in order to destroy them. After that, the mime destroys several houses. Realizing that his city is being bombed, the king decides to postpone the egg feast until lunchtime. On the other side of the battlefield, an orange bird is thrown and destroys nothing along the way. However, when it lands on the ground, it inflates to a gigantic size, destroying everything around it. A few minutes later, a pink bird is fired from the slingshot and flies at full speed, hitting the buildings but failing to reach its main target, the castle. The judge also launches his attack to strike with the hammer of justice. After observing the battle, Mighty Eagle decides to become a hero again, but he can't bear his own weight when he tries to fly and ends up falling off the mountain. In enemy territory, Red asks Terence to throw him into a pile of rocks. At that moment, his friends lament their failure. Surprisingly, he uses the stone as a springboard and manages to get into the castle after breaking a glass window. Immediately, Leonard demands that his subordinates search for the bird that has invaded the fortress. Then it's Chuck's turn to be launched by the slingshot. The bird flies at high speed towards the castle and destroys everything in its path, but is interrupted when it crashes into a brick wall. Minutes later, Bomb also manages to arrive on the scene. In an attempt to combat the birds, the enemies release the pig's air force for an attack using explosives. Terence prepares to be thrown into the fortress, but his weight is so great that he breaks the slingshot in half. Inside the castle, Chuck and Red search for the eggs, but end up finding the bomb bird. Then they are surprised by the celebration of the enemies waiting for the feast. In the dining room, there is a giant iron door on which is written the phrase, no eggs here. The moment the Red Bird starts planning an attack, Chuck uses super speed to attack the enemies, who move in slow motion. The bird takes advantage of the distraction to make them believe that one of their companions has attacked the others, so the pigs start fighting each other. When the trio finally make it into the egg room, they end up being pulled out by a winch. At the same moment, Red holds onto the net and is taken to a dining room while his friends are left behind. Bomb tries to climb up a pipe, but ends up falling. Meanwhile, Chuck takes the opportunity to enter the pipe at high speed, but gets stuck due to his size. Seeing that Red won't give up on saving the eggs, his opponents decide to cook him too. Faced with danger, he attacks one of the pigs and ends up falling out of the window. In this way, the red bird gets control of the winch to stop the mechanism and this prevents the net with the eggs from coming into contact with the hot water. Suddenly, Mighty Eagle flies through the sky and enters the castle, destroying everything on the dining table and finally hitting the cauldron. Outside the room, Chuck is forced through the pipe and manages to get inside, then opens the door for his friend. Just then, Mighty Eagle catches the net with eggs and flies it out of the room. At the same time, Chuck and Bomb grab onto the net. However, Leonard holds Red's foot while the other pigs help pull them out. This action causes one of the eggs to roll into the dining room. So Red, who was holding onto the net, returns to the castle to save the egg that was left behind. The king of the pigs tries to steal it, but the Red Bird manages to dodge him. Suddenly, the cauldron of boiling water collapses and the liquid is thrown over their feet so they both jump up clinging to the ceiling. Outside, the explosive bird decides to use his skill to destroy the planes chasing the precious cargo. At the same time, Matilda destroys several enemies using her explosive power. Bomb, who is in the city, notices that there are several enemies heading his way. He tries to set off an explosion, which destroys them all and sends the bird flying through the air. Meanwhile, Red and the king grab hold of a giant boulder on the ceiling of the hall and end up plummeting with the heavy object down several floors of the castle. Just then, Matilda is surprised by an enemy battle tank, and when the car stops, she realizes that Terence is the driver. Inside the fortress, the Red Bird reaches the deepest floor of the castle, where he finds a warehouse full of dynamite and explosives. However, Leonard manages to steal the egg once again and uses a candle to heat it up in order to devour his meal. However, Red acts quickly and manages to distract the enemy in order to recover the egg. Just then, the flame ignited by the candle threatens to blow up everything in the place. When the cauldron falls towards them from above, the red bird prepares to hide under the object and is protected when the dynamite explodes, destroying the entire city. All the birds return to collect their eggs, except for one family who is saddened not to find their child. What's more, they mourn the loss of the red bird, 
without realizing that it has risen alive from the wreckage and is carrying three blue babies, which hatched from the egg it saved. Red then returns the chicks to their parents, who thank him. Mighty Eagle also recognizes the courage of the trio who encouraged him to become a hero again. Upon returning to the island, the community builds a statue in honor of the eagle for saving the eggs and leaves Red and his friends only as adjuncts to the mission. The Red Bird is also given a new home in the village with the others of its kind. After entering the house, Red slams the door in his colleagues' faces and they leave sadly. However, the bird says he was only joking and invites the pair to spend the day with him. After winning the battle, all the birds dance happily to celebrate their victory without even realizing that the pigs have already started rebuilding their village and Leonard is devising a new plan of attack. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.